Hello everyone. Let me introduce myself. I am Dr. A. Syed Mohammed, Assistant Professor and Research Head, Department of Chemistry, Satakutalaba College, from Trinilveli, Tamil Nadu. In this module, we are going to discuss the basic principle of gravimetric analysis and types of gravimetric analysis. Gravimetric analysis is a method in analytical chemistry to determine quantity of analyte based on mass of a solid. So what is analyte? The constituent of interest in the sample. So in other words, it is based on the principle that the measurement of the weight of precipitate formed from the known weight of the sample. Usually this estimation involves two weight determination. The first one is the original sample weight and the second one is the final weight of the precipitate which contain the sample. Therefore in gravimetric analysis formation of the precipitate in a suitable form for weighing is important. Theodore W. Richard and his graduate students at Harvard refined many of the techniques of gravimetric analysis of silver as well as chlorine. These techniques were used to determine the atomic weights of 25 of the elements by preparing pure samples of the chlorides of the respective elements, decomposing known weights of the compound and determining the chloride content by gravimetric methods. Based on this work, Richard became the first American to receive the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1914. So, let us discuss the requirements of gravimetric analysis or in other words we can say what is the effective condition for precipitation. For better precipitation the solution must be dilute. This minimizes the error due to co-precipitation. The precipitating reagent should be added slowly with constant stirring. This maintains a small degree of supersaturation and promotes the precipitation. A slight excess of precipitating agent is usually added to confirm the completeness of precipitation. Usually precipitation should be carried out in a hard solution. Precipitate should be washed with a dilute solution of an electrolyte. This will prevent peptization. Washing with pure water may cause loss of precipitate by peptization. The crystalline precipitate should be digested for a sufficiently long period. Contamination of the precipitate due to co-precipitation is minimized by removing interfering ions before precipitation. At last, the degree of supersaturation may be reduced by precipitation from homogeneous solution. Now, let us discuss the types of gravimetric analysis. The first one is volatilization gravimetry and the second type is precipitation gravimetry and the third one electrogravimetry and the fourth one thermogravimetric analysis. So these are the four fundamental types of gravimetric analysis. In the coming modules all the experiments based on precipitation gravimetry. Thank you.